Have you ever heard of construction projects that went terribly wrong? Massive undertakings that cost billions, only to be abandoned or demolished due to unforeseen issues or mistakes. Today, we'll explore some of the most expensive construction blunders in history, where dreams turned into nightmares and the price tags were staggering. Let's start with the demolition that shook China like never before. In 2011, an ambitious real estate project called Liang Star City began construction in Kunming. The plan was to build 19 towering buildings across four sites intended for residential and office use. But after just one year, the project changed hands, and the new company could only complete four of the high-rises. Financial troubles forced them to halt work on the remaining 15 buildings, leaving them structurally complete but unfinished. As the years passed, rainwater seeped into the basements, causing irreversible damage to the foundations. In 2020, a new real estate firm acquired the property for around $150 million. But they soon realized these eight-year-old buildings wouldn't meet modern standards. The decision was made to demolish the empty giants. Over four tons of explosives were carefully placed, and in August 2021, the largest demolition in Chinese history took place. In just 45 seconds, years of construction came crumbling down, a stark reminder of the risks and challenges in the world of real estate development. Moving on to a project that was supposed to be Mexico's pride and joy, but ended up as a colossal waste of money. In 2014, President Enrique Peña Nieto announced plans for the Texcoco Airport, a massive infrastructure project designed to address the country's growing air traffic. The vision was grand six runways, capable of handling 125 million passengers annually, positioning it as one of the world's largest airports. Construction began with an estimated cost of over $13 billion, financed through loans. But four years later, the newly elected president Andres Manuel López Obrador voiced concerns about corruption, cost overruns, and unstable sinking land at the construction site. After a national referendum, the decision was made to cancel the project despite 30% of the work being completed. In the end, Mexico lost a staggering $16 billion by abandoning the Texcoco airport. A cautionary tale of how even the grandest of plans can crumble under the weight of mismanagement and unforeseen circumstances. Next, let's travel back to the 1940s and the fascinating story of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. This suspension bridge connecting Tacoma to the Kitsap Peninsula was a marvel of its time, the third longest in the world. But from the start, it faced challenges due to the area's windy conditions. As the bridge deck was constructed, it began swaying up and down, earning the affectionate nickname Galloping Gertie from the workers. Engineers tried to stabilize it with hydraulic buffers, and after much effort, the bridge opened to the public on July 1, 1940. However, the problem persisted, and curious crowds gathered to witness the spectacle. Just four months later, disaster struck. Strong winds caused the bridge to sway violently until it collapsed into the water below. Miraculously, no one was injured, but engineers soon realized their construction methods were deeply flawed, lacking proper support systems to keep the bridge stable. A decade later, Washington unveiled a redesigned version of the bridge with a reinforced truss system, costing more than $786 million. Today, 70 years later, that bridge remains standing, a testament to the lessons learned from one of the most spectacular failures in bridge engineering history. Moving on to a towering ambition that remains unfinished, the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia was planned to be the world's first building to reach one kilometer in height, a skyscraper equal to two and a half Empire State buildings stacked on top of each other. Part of Saudi Arabia's efforts to boost its economy through tourism, construction began in 2013 with a target completion date of 2018. However, progress was disrupted significantly by the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge, during which major investors were taken into custody by the government. Although they were later released, construction remained at a standstill, with no clear timeline for resuming work. When work stopped, the tower had reached 252 meters tall, just a fraction of its intended height. The COVID-19 pandemic further postponed plans for construction to resume in 2020 due to safety concerns for workers. Since then, there has been no visible progress at the construction site, leaving the future of this ambitious project in limbo. If abandoned midway, 
the financial loss could potentially exceed a billion dollars, a stark reminder of the risks involved in pursuing architectural grandeur. Next, let's explore a disaster that unfolded right here in the United States at America's largest dam, the Oroville Dam in Northern California. Initially built for water supply, power generation, and flood control, this 50-year-old dam had not received proper maintenance and was ill-prepared to manage the record-breaking rainy season of 2017. As powerful storms pushed the river's water levels to 150% of its usual capacity, operators had no choice but to use the main spillway to release pressure from the dam, but they soon discovered severe erosion in the spillway's foundation and concrete a problem that had been ignored for years due to rejected proposals to upgrade the dam's spillways. With water levels and pressure continuing to rise, workers had to clear trees from the hillside in preparation for opening the emergency spillway for the first time ever at the Oroville Dam. This led to millions of gallons of water flooding downstream, prompting the immediate evacuation of 188,000 people from the area. Fortunately, a week later, the water levels started to drop, allowing residents to return home. But the damage was done, and more than $875 million was spent on repairing the two spillways, a project that took over a year to complete. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of proper maintenance and preparedness when it comes to critical infrastructure. The Harmon Hotel in Las Vegas is a cautionary tale of construction gone wrong. Part of the city center complex promising luxury living, it was meant to be a tall hotel residential building with a rooftop pool overlooking the strip. Construction began in 2007 with a $275 million budget. However, in 2008, inspectors found the steel supports for the 49-floor building were installed incorrectly. Work halted after just 28 floors, and apartment plans were canceled with refunds issued. MGM, the owners, eventually stopped construction altogether, covering the unfinished building in glass for advertising. In 2011, it was revealed the flawed Harmon couldn't withstand an earthquake and would collapse. With no choice but demolition, MGM embarked on a painstaking floor-by-floor -floor dismantling process, as explosives were too risky near other buildings. Completed in 2015, this added $170 million to MGM's total $450 million loss. The Harmon Hotel underscores the importance of quality control and attention to detail, especially in high-stakes projects where mistakes can be catastrophically expensive. These stories of abandoned airports, collapsed bridges, and demolition disasters serve as cautionary tales about the risks and challenges in large-scale construction projects, where even small oversights can have colossal consequences. Dreams turned into nightmares, with billions lost due to unforeseen issues, mismanagement, or human error. Yet they also highlight the resilience and ingenuity of the engineering and construction communities, learning from mistakes to create more robust and safe structures. So when you marvel at towering skyscrapers or impressive bridges, remember the stories behind the scenes, the triumphs, failures, and lessons learned. If you enjoyed this exploration of construction calamities, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating tales from the world of engineering and architecture.